Hello and welcome back to my channel where we're spreading love, light, and knowledge about women's health and life. And yes, today, if you are a woman and you all have been thinking about giving up on your dream, you've come to the right place. Don't give up, ladies. Do not give up yet. It's all right. Let's just, let's talk it through and let's see what's going on with us. Because if you're a woman who's been trying to call back her energy so that she can do what she needs to do for herself, like you're someone who's been giving to others, right? Like your whole life. And then now you've decided you want to pursue a dream. You want to pursue your life's purpose. You want to pursue your um, a career that you want. You want to pursue a your health and wellness and secure your health for your future, right? This video is for you. So let's get right into it, ladies. So when we decide that we're going to call back our, I call it call back our energy, right? Because if you're like me and like most women, right? You're nurturing and you've been giving your energy to your kids, your husband, your family, your friends, and you've made yourself available to everyone, right? And if you're that woman who's done that and watched what you want in life just be put to the side and now you're deciding to call that back, that is awesome. That's awesome, you're in the right place. Now. We're going to talk about a few things that will lead that might make you feel like, like you know what, it's too much. Like I can't do this anymore. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore because why? Why? Why, ladies? Why would you not want to pursue? What is it about you that doesn't deserve to pursue what you want to pursue in your life for your health, for your well-being, your career, your life's purpose? What is it that you, about that that you don't deserve? And why is it that you don't deserve it? Or that you might feel that you don't deserve it? Well, you do. The thing is, when we decide to call back our power and our energy to focus on ourselves after we've been focusing on everyone else around us, and there's nothing wrong with giving other people your energy and focusing on others. Actually, it's a great thing to share your energy. The problem becomes when we're, we've shared it with others and we haven't given to ourselves and now we're calling it back. We're, we want to focus on ourselves first, right? Because to be able to continue to pour into everyone else, you need to pour into yourself first and then give the extra to everyone else. But it's like, okay, how am I going to do that? Right? It seems simple enough, right? Like I want to go to the gym. So schedule, you know, you sign up at the gym and you go to the gym three times a week. I'm going to change my diet. I'm, you know, I'm going to apply for a new job with new hours. I'm going to, uh, I have a creative endeavor that I want to pursue. So I'm going to give it time. But what does that mean? Time is energy, right? So the time that you were putting into other things, you're going to have to pull that time back to give it to yourself from others. And so the first week is amazing, right? Like when you first decide to make this plan for yourself and you're like, I'm going to focus on me. It's great, right? Because you're planning it out. You're like, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I want to do. And even though you know that these things can change over time, but just the excitement of doing something new for yourself in itself is so fulfilling, right? So that's week one planning phase and, and you're telling everyone like this is what I'm gonna do and everyone's like yeah 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 but you're like right to it you're you're planning you're planning out your strategy week two you start to implement strategies right like so you're okay you sign up at the gym you go to you go to the gym a couple of times and you know you start to you go shopping you change your diet you um you download an app, you start to write a book, right? Week three of your plan, you start to realize, hey, I need, I need to take time from someone, somewhere else to do this so that I'm not completely exhausted because so far you've 
made a plan it started to implement the plan but you're just now realizing mm, you were maybe trying to give time to all the other things you're realizing like that's not possible to keep giving like you know going out with friends or um you know cooking meals every night if that's the thing and cleaning the house and all the other things that you do as a woman that have been calling on your energy you need to get it back from somewhere so maybe you know at first you're just like hey i'm just gonna cook dinner three days a week instead of seven days a week right which is new something new and you might do this and do this gradually so at first they're just like maybe the first couple times they're like hmm okay well that's all right and then by the third time the third day or the third time that occurs they're like well what's for dinner and you're like today's not my day to cook now the reason why I've gone into detail on this is because all this interaction that you're having to call back your energy is also taking your energy right so in order to call back your energy you're gonna you're probably gonna have to put out a little bit more energy than what you were putting in before but it's for a good purpose right you're gonna get back some of your energy by doing this but it's not the what you start to realize is that hey it's not happening overnight now a crisis comes up with all of this going on week four or week five week four or five like there's a cri family crisis something happens friendship crisis and people are calling on your energy about this crisis right and normally like you jump in and you, you would you engage you give your energy to it whether it's that you need to you they need a listening ear or they they want you to do something um, they need you to come over right right whatever that is for you maybe you maybe you initiate you don't jump in you do what you normally do and then you're just like wait a minute I still need to focus on me and you know by and so you have to decide for yourself how much of what's going on in this crisis is something that you have control over how much of what's going on in this crisis is something that you where you need to engage so, uh, do you just need to give a listen listening ear how long do you have to listen do, is it do you have 30 minutes do you have four hours are you going to spend days focused on this right because now your focus is being torn from what you are doing to focus on yourself to focus on this crisis because you're just figuring it all out you haven't figured it out yet this is you figuring it out this is you actually doing the work to call back your energy so that you can focus on yourself. So at this point, I want you to give yourself grace because at this point, this, this is the point that we reach where we kind of want to start giving up because by week six or seven, you start to get the phone calls, right? Like people are not seeing you like they used to people are not, they're not talking to you as they used to even if there's no crisis and now they're just like hey you need to come out you need to join us like what's wrong with you so you start getting the the kickback from people that are upset and that can be sad when it's someone close to you it pulls on your energy so much that it's draining especially if you're an empath it's draining and so at this point, you're just, you just, all you can do is, uh, maybe, uh, you're re you feel like you're regressing, right? And now you start to make excuses to yourself, like why you can't do that anymore because you have all of this going on, but I want to, and, and that, oh, is it worth it? Like, you know what? You don't have time for those things that you used to do for yourself. I want you to stop here. I want you to stop there because all this stuff that's going on around you right now 
the, all the stuff that's starting to tug back on your energy and and have you feeling like you can't continue or you don't have time to continue what you wanted to do. This is part of why you were calling back your energy. Remember? Remember that you wanted to, that you felt like you needed to get your health in order? Remember that you felt that you wanted to get in shape? Remember that you felt that you had creative endeavors that you wanted to pursue? This is the point where I, I call it like the rubber meets the road. I like to use that a lot because we have a lot of points and times in our life where the rubber meets the road. You're, you're already used to giving all your energy to people. And so that's, that comes natural to you, right? Now you're making a change to give the energy to you first so that you can have an overflow. And when you have overflow, you can give to others. And that doesn't mean that if there's a crisis that you don't handle it. So you have to deal with a crisis. When does, when does your, en the energy that you give to that crisis end? Do you have a boundary? That's the question, right? And so going back to your focus, you started this because you had all these things that you wanted to do. And now everyone's telling you, well, no, wait a minute. Like you can't do that because we're not getting everything that we used to get from you. So this is where it's going to take you more energy because you might have to take a little break, but you don't give up because you have to constantly remind yourself of why you started this. And you have to remind yourself also that once that calling back your energy for everything else that you were doing from everyone else is going to empower the people around you to do from them for themselves and also to respect your boundaries because maybe before you didn't have very many right because you just they called you came they call you did you they asked you you were available right and now you're saying no so that means that you're you may have to say no more than one time for the same reason, so, because they may not understand or they may feel entitled at this point, right? That you're just supposed to be available because it's family or you're supposed to be available because you were available all the time and like, what's wrong with you? Don't you like me anymore? And it has nothing to do with that, right? Like at the end of the day, it's all about you doing what you need to do to fill up your cup. So if you are at this point now where you're teetering, right, then it's time for you to start to set those boundaries that you need so that you can fulfill your own needs and to figure out how much of what is being asked of you are things that other people can do for themselves. And if they're not choosing to do it for themselves, that you're not going to do it for them. And this is really important because so, so many of us ladies out there are talented we've put our health by the wayside we've either gained weight you have disease processes going on that you need to deal with and maybe you don't even know because you've been so focused on taking everyone else in your family to the doctor that that you haven't even addressed your own issues that need to be addressed right so now the focus needs to stay on you and you have to realize that yes, people might be upset. Yes, there's going to be crisis. Yes, there are going to be times where this, this kind of juggling that you're doing and figuring things out, figuring out how much to give and how much you need to hold back so you could accomplish what you need to accomplish. That's all new. So you need to hang in there and you take the time, give yourself grace. Give the time that you need to figure that out. Give, your, give yourself the time that you need to reiterate to people that yes, um, yes, I'm available or no, I'm not available. And if I am, it's only for this short time, right? So boundaries around that. So that people know that you're, I don't know, you're booked and busy, that you are, that you're just not, readily available at every whim for every everything and it's not that you don't want to be available but if you continue 
on the path of pouring into everyone else now. The day will come where you won't have the energy to do it anymore. Because the universe talks to us. If you've been doing it for so long, you've probably been pouring into other people and not pouring into yourself. The universe has probably been talking to you for quite a while. And now you were heeding the call. And each time you don't listen, the call gets stronger. So whether that's like a bigger disease process that occurs because you're not he heeding the call, where now you really can't pour into them. Now you don't have the energy anymore to even to, to not, not even to pour into them, but not to even pour into you because you've given so much. So ladies, if that's you, give yourself grace. Remember that this is, this is a journey that you've committed to for yourself. Don't compare yourself to anyone else and how, what their journey looks like, because that's the other thing, right? Because you might be on a similar journey with someone else and look at them and they seem to be excelling, right? They seem to be moving at a fast, faster pace than you. And you're looking and you're having all these things happening around you. And you're thinking, well, I may as well just give up because, you know, I don't know. I'll never catch up. You're not trying to catch up to anyone. You are doing you, you are catching up to you and you're catching back up to the things that you need to do for you, because that's what you're figuring out in this time. What do you need to make things happen for you? What do you need? How much do you need to fill your cup up so that once your cup is filled, you can overflow into others. And there's nothing wrong with that. People might call you selfish for doing it. Yeah, they will. Especially if they're used to calling on your energy whenever they want to. You'll be called selfish. You'll be looked at like, you know, what's wrong with you? Like all, all types of things, right? Like people will be angry with you. Almost like, who do you think you are? Well, you're the person who is in control of your life. That's who you are. And so that's what it's about. It's not about them. It's about you. It's about you taking control of your life so that you continuously fill your cup up. Everyone else is tugging on your cup. They're spilling your cup over to take the energy. So if you're not filling your cup up, who is going to fill it up for you? It's you. So just remember to give yourself grace. And if you need help with this, get a therapist because you know, there might be a lot of family trauma that goes with this. As you start to pull away, it might not be, it might not seem acceptable to your family that you're doing this for you. But just because it doesn't seem acceptable, acceptable to them does not make it unacceptable for you. You know what you need. And so you have to figure out what it, how it is that you're going to maneuver through to get what you need, whether it's therapy, whether it's coaching, whether it's, you know, uh, a mentor, you know, listening to YouTube channels, like to, to give you it's for inspiration. You got to do what you got to do. So keep on, keep on keeping on ladies keep on keeping on you got this it's that there's nothing wrong with you yes there are things around you that need to be addressed and do that but as you do that figure out how much of it is really requiring your assistance and how much of it is it that maybe the other person needs therapy maybe the other person needs some coaching from somewhere else that you, that it's not for you to give, like they, they need to, that there are things that maybe they need to handle. Once you make it a habit, if there's their expectations that, that are put on you for that, but you have to realize that just because someone has expectations 
does not mean that you're obliged to those expectations. You are obliged to make sure that you are happy, that you get what you need, that you get what you want in this life, because if you don't, no one else will do it. So, like I said, give yourself grace. With that, I'm sending you love, life, and knowledge. Spread the wealth.